Shout out to my mom for using my code on Advanced GG. Seriously, she sent me this on Facebook. And you guys have been going insane ever since we announced the new partnership. We're already well on our way to getting a custom shaker cup. So if you'd like to support, check the link in the description. Thank you. You guys ever have that one weapon that no matter what you do would just not drop? Or maybe it will, but whenever it finally does, you just get the most god awful roll imaginable? Well, today is all about that phenomenon. Ladies and gentlemen, despite dedicating my life's work to the loot inside Destiny 2, the RNG weapon gods of this game will still not smile upon me, at least for the weapons in this video. So today, we're gonna talk about the top nine weapon god rolls that will not drop for me under any circumstance. We'll be going over how to farm these out, why I want them, and of course the roles that I'm looking for. I'm gonna be in a lot of pain today, so if you guys have any god rolls that you're currently looking for and just cannot get, definitely feel free to share them in the comments so that we can suffer together. And as always, before we jump into it, make sure you're subscribed to the channel to stay up to date with all future content, as a new season is on the horizon and I'll be having tons of videos out whenever that happens, but without further ado, let's jump into this. To start today's video, I just want to go ahead and rip the band-aid right off. Shout out to my Twitch viewers that have watched me farm for this hand cannon for hours on end across multiple streams to no avail. To kick today off, let's talk about the Judgment Hand Cannon from Prophecy. I am so sick and tired of farming Phalanx Echo, probably killed the bastard a thousand times now, and I still don't have the role that I want. Let's take a look at the perks. Starting with the site, there really isn't anything here that's a deal breaker, so I'm honestly fine with anything that drops here. For the magazine, the base mag size on Judgment is kinda low, so I'd really like Tac Mag or Appended here and have them both combine with a Reload Masterwork. And finally, for the main two perk columns, of course I'm going to be aiming for Demolitionist and Timed Payload. When I tell you guys that I have the worst luck on the planet, this weapon is a living testimony to that statement. I'm not over here complaining about not getting a 5 out of 5, oh no, I'm just here wanting demo and payload on the same gun. I haven't gotten that perk combination a single time in all my hours of farming for this hand cannon. To my knowledge, Judgment is the only hand cannon that's capable of rolling with both demo and time payload, and I want it for that reason alone. Forget the masterwork, forget the magazine, I just want a Judgment with those two perks on it, and to this day, despite all my hours of farming, I have not gotten a single one. I've been wanting to get that roll to finally phase out my Fatebringer from the kinetic slot since I enjoy both abilities and gun damage, but my RNG has been so horrendous that I haven't even been close to accomplishing that yet. And while on the topic of dungeon weapons, let's segue on over to one of the newer ones out there, and that is the Lingering Dread. This weapon drops from duality and has been such a pain to get my hands on since the dungeon dropped. I've been a blinding nade connoisseur for years now, even back before they were really all that popular, and this is a blinding GL that I've been wanting to add to my arsenal, and it just won't drop for me. My 5 out of 5 on this thing looks like this. Quick launch for the barrel so I get more velocity in handling, a handling masterwork to make swapping to and from this thing much more efficient, blinding nades, and then auto loading obviously, and chill clip or demo in that final column. I'd really take either. I'd much prefer chill clip of course because that's what makes this weapon special, but at this point I'd take either. I've just been wanting to get a god roll lingering dread so I can, just like with judgment, phase out a current weapon in my loadout, and in this case it's pardon our dust. The role that I have for Partner Dust is absolutely nasty, and I've loved this GL ever since I got it from Dares, but you know what's better than a Kinetic Blinding GL? A Stasis Blinding GL that can also slow and freeze the targets it hits. Lingering Dread is an incredibly unique weapon, just like Judgment, so me not having the perfect roll gives me a huge diagnosis of the big sad. Moving on to something gotten from the PvP side as opposed to the dungeon side of the game, let's talk about the Summoner Auto Rifle. Now as you can see on screen, I've had a pretty damn good roll of this auto rifle for a while now, dating all the way back to Season of the Worthy. That said, Bungie has brought this weapon back and given it more perks slash origin traits, so I've been kinda wanting to replace it. 
Taking a look at what perks it has to offer nowadays, for the barrel I'm usually always going to go with hammer forge for the extra range boost on an auto, for the masterwork I'd be fine with either range or more reload, for the magazine a pendant or flared are my two picks, and for the main perks I would really love an overflow and tricorn roll. Since I'm a titan main, you might be able to imagine why this roll is so desirable. Solar 3.0 has made getting ability kills just ridiculously easy and very very powerful, so Rocking that second stack of golden tricorn and keeping it up almost permanently is literally no problem. You walk into a room and then you shoot an enemy to get your first stack for 15% damage. Then you hammer bonk another enemy to get the second stack, that's going to boost my damage to 50%, and if I'm running the right fragment, I also get radiant boosting my damage even more, and anytime I'm about to run out of radiant or golden times 2, I just bonk another enemy and keep that damage boost running rampant. All the while, I have overflow on my weapon, just continuing to load my magazine with ridiculous amounts of bullets, and you can see why I want this weapon. It's just an overall super fun setup for Solar 3.0, and with Golden Tricorn becoming one of my favorite perks in the game as of last season, I'd love to have it on more weapons like the Summoner here. Going from a PvP weapon and back to PvE, let's talk about the best machine gun in the game that I still can't get a good roll on, the Corrective Measure. Now, people always get upset with me whenever I bring up that I like corrective measure more than commemoration, but it simply is the better option across the board in my opinion. And that's mainly due to the perks, but also subtle things like an adept variant help too. Speaking of perks, taking a look at them, the barrel doesn't matter all that much, probably a ranged masterwork would be pretty good, tac mag, appended, or flared are all great magazines for that slot, and the main role I'm looking for nowadays is demolitionist and thresh. Had you asked me a while ago what role I'd want, I probably would have told you demo one for all, but with the machine gun buffs that we've gotten as of late, damage perks just don't feel necessary anymore. Corrective is a machine gun that can pack adept big ones, a consistent sort of ad clear with volatile rounds being up all the time due to demo, it can also reload instantly with every grenade throw thanks to demo, and it'll also charge your super insanely fast due to thresh. All of this on the same machine gun. And to the game's credit, I probably don't have this god roll yet due to a lack of farming, but in all my time of playing the game, getting the Vault of Glass seal, doing the day one, and doing the Sherpas that I've done on stream, I've never gotten this roll to drop despite focusing it plenty of times at the spoils chest in the past. One of these days, I'll stop being lazy and just hard focus this raid to get this weapon, but until then, my life will be pain. Now up next, let's talk about what's probably my favorite weapon in the entire game right now. Not that I'd know for sure though, because I can't get the roll I want. Here we have the Unforgiven from the Duality Dungeon. Now, from the looks of the weapon, to the sight, to the feel, I just adore this SMG all around. Unfortunately, given its base stats, I need a super specific roll to get it where I want it, so here it is. First up for the barrel, just to boost that stability or range up, I'd be down for arrowhead to perfect the recoil direction, corkscrew for the bonuses all around, or small bore for stability and range. For the masterwork, reload is a must here given the pitiful 21 base reload, and for the mag, you can go either flared or light mag. For the main two perks, demo golden tricorn or demo frenzy are what I'm after. Golden tricorn because demo will ensure that I have nades up all the time to proc both it and volatile rounds and Frenzy because it's a super easy perk to proc and it gives both a bonus to damage as well as some much needed reload. My current favorite SMG in the game right now is Shaira's Wrath. I love its really good range stat as well as the perk combo to do some nutty things with ability builds, but Unforgiven just seems to improve upon that tenfold. It's the same archetype as my most used SMG of all time, the Aikilos SMG, and comes with demo as a first column perk to give extra damage and add clear via volatile rounds on top of even more damage through the final column perks. It's unfortunate that the base stats are so rough because I've gotten a demo tricorn roll before, but when I rock this SMG and don't have the appropriate roll, I almost always have to use an SMG reloader mod on my gauntlet just to stomach the base reload speed that it has. With all that said, if I finally do get a 5 out of 5 on this weapon, I don't think I'll ever take it off. 
Now, moving on to, I promise, the last dungeon weapon for the video. I know my dungeon weapon RNG is absolute ass. We have the Darkest Before Rapid Fire Arc Pulse Rifle. This weapon drops from the final boss of Prophecy, and here we have a very similar case like we do with Judgment. I'm not upset about the lack of a 5 out of 5. I'm really upset about the lack of a measly 2 out of 5 as I can never seem to get the main perks that I want. Taking a look at the perks, my personal 5 out of 5, barrel doesn't matter, reload or range masterwork, appended mag to boost the magazine to 40 plus, and finally overflow and one for all. I've never gotten an overflow one for all roll before, and it bothers me to no end as someone who loves using pulses in PvE. Insidious is quite an insane weapon as it's both an arc pulse and gets a pretty similar roll, but I've always wanted a good roll for Darkest before because I always love the feel of rapid fires in this game. Game. They feel so snappy and fluid, and then once they get that 35% damage boost from one for all, it just melts anything and everything. Combine that with a mag size of 42 that can be doubled with overflow, and you got yourself a damn fine weapon. I farmed an ungodly amount of prophecy in my days simply for high stat armor, and not once have I gotten an overflow one for all roll. My life is pain. Moving on, we have one of the most underrated weapons in the game, and one that frankly I feel most people just forget exists and that is the Arctic Haze from Europa. When I'm streaming or show gameplay of this weapon without mentioning the name, I always get comments like, hey, what gun is that that you're using? And it baffles me because it's the best solar auto rifle in the game since it came out in my opinion, at least for things like Grandmasters where it's champions galore. Now, I have a pretty decent role on this weapon already, so this being in the video is just me being picky and wanting a 5 out of 5 compared to my current 4 out of 5. When it comes to auto rifles built to deal with champions, Arctic Haze is one of the best in the business, especially if you're in a solar burn nightfall. So taking a look at the perks, barrel doesn't matter all that much, although stability would definitely help out. Reload speed masterwork is always welcome, tack or appended mag, and finally, triple tap vorpal. Currently, I'm rocking a subsistence vorpal, which kind of blends the weapon to deal both with ad clear and champions, but I'd like a more focused roll that's going to lay into champions 110%. You take the damage buff from solar burn nightfalls, the 20% damage from vorpal, the sustained DPS from triple tap, and 720 rounds a minute on a champion and you got yourself one of the greatest possible options to use inside late game pve plus the weapon just looks super sexy especially with the design of the site on top and for those wondering since i get comments all the time about this this is the shader that i use to make my arctic haze all black moving on from arctic haze we have what is potentially the god roll that i've been searching for the longest out of all the weapons on this list and that is the god roll for vanguard's empty vessel now before lingering dread release this was my favorite grenade launcher in the game that was for a multitude of reasons but the main one at the time was because this was a the ad clear machine in destiny not only could it be used as a blinding gl to get out of sticky situations but if you built into it you could use it as a blinding and a warmind cell gl since it does solar splash damage of course nowadays with warmind cells not quite being their former selves i've kind of given up on wanting a god roll in this gl but i wanted to mention it regardless because I've wanted this gun for the better half of a year, and I never got the one I wanted. The ideal roll for me looks like quick launch for the barrel, handling masterwork, blinding nades, and auto loading demo. I never ended up getting this roll before Warmind Cells were buried into the ground, unfortunately, but hey Bungie, I'm still down if you ever want to give it to me, you know, throw it my way, totally would not complain. And finally, to end things off for the video, we have a weapon that is very close to Empty Vessel as far as my longest desired god roll, and that is the Frozen Orbit from Crucible. As someone who doesn't play all that much Crucible, you can probably understand why I don't have this god roll yet, but I played an ungodly amount of trials for my liking, and despite all the Crucible engrams that I've ever gotten through leveling up shacks, none of them have come close to giving me the Frozen Orbit that I want. Now you might ask yourself, why do you want a Frozen Orbit so bad? Well, as someone who really wishes the Trophy Hunter never got Sunset, you know, one of the most badass looking aggressive snipers of all time, the Frozen Orbit is essentially a carbon copy of that weapon, but with a Destiny 1 skin placed over it. Taking a look at the perks, it even comes with the exact same perk combinations as well as some other ones too, but you got Lead from Gold Vorpal, or Triple Tap Vorpal, maybe even auto loading if that's your thing. And when it comes to snipers in this game, outside of the rare scenarios where you need 
sustained DPS like in day one raids, anything outside of succession isn't really all that usable in normal PvE. That is, except for Frozen Orbit in my eyes. It's the closest sniper we have to being the succession of the energy slot, and I've wanted a good roll on it since around midway through Season of the Chosen. It's definitely an all time favorite of mine, but unfortunately, it seems like I'm never destined to get one. With all that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today's video. Those are all nine god roll weapons that will just not drop for me inside Destiny 2, but what are yours? I know there will be a lot of people in the comments talking about how many of the weapons that they have on today's list, so feel free to share your personal elusive god rolls so that we can be in pain together. Anyways, as always, a huge thank you to watching to the end of the video as it helps with getting my video recommended to other people, it just helps grow the channel in general, so again, thank you so much. And also a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, which if you guys are interested, a link for that will be in the description, and they help keep the channel going each and every season. Thank you to my tier 2 patrons, home base Serenity, Austin, Admus, Vile, John, and Onrock, and my tier 3 patrons, Cinco and Galumia. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.